Tonight, Pasta and Sandwich look to have a champion join the final table. Get a good shot of this. It's gonna be one of the winning dishes. Go, go, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pasta. Seven, six, five. I have something that's never been done before. Are you sure it's not on the bar? I forgot two of my key ingredients. Close the gate! In the world of culinary competitions, there is one event that is taking food and making it a sport. This ultimate food fight brings together professional chefs, home cooks, foodies from all over the world, competing against each other, themselves, and the clock. These culinary athletes must be at the top of their game if they want the chance at the final table and $100,000. This is the World Food Championships. It's the start of a new day at the WFC, and the chefs are busy settling into their kitchens, getting ready for the next competition. Pasta. We're improvising. You know, we got people here from all over the world competing, uh, visiting, judging. It uh, truly is a World Food Championship. I'm very excited. Uh, I am a, uh, just one French in this competition. It's my first time for the World Food Championship. To stay a little bit more with the, with the traditional Italian, so no, no, no peppers on this one yet. <laughs> I want to stay as organized as possible, work as clean as possible, no clutter, no mess, and then have a nice, easy cook. In round one's competition, the chefs must turn in two dishes. The first, a structured dish, and the second, a signature dish. For this structured dish, they will have one hour and must include ramen as an ingredient. Turning ramen into rice. You can reinvent it, you can use it as the noodles, you can do whatever you want with it. The ramen are, are a, 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 a bland noodle. So it's all about the broth and what you put in. So it's, it's broth, noodle, and garnish. With $100,000 on the line, you won't see any pasta from a box here. The cooks prepare and cut, all under the watchful eye of the competition clock. But all that time and effort could be for nothing if the judges aren't swayed by the taste. Got to taste, got to taste. That spoon has to have everything you got. That's got to tell your whole story in one bite. I just cook at home for my husband, who is a huge critic. Well, being that I've been eating it for the past 20 years, I know when it's right. <laughs> Taste is important, but so is timing. Two minutes to the window open. The contestants must make it across the finish line for their dish to even have a chance at winning. Last couple minutes, because everything starts to get finished up, we get ready to start plating, get ready for turn-in. That's when all the excitement happens, that's when things get messed up, mess chaos. <laughs> This is a very, very complicated recipe. I have a lot of components to it. This is my hardest recipe I'll be doing. I feel a lot of pressure, but even more because I'm trying to keep my champion title. I love, love, love competing. Hey. Get a good shot of this. It's going to be one of the winning dishes. Come on. Come on. Coming through. With the first entries of round one at the judges' table, the chefs move on to their second, a signature dish, a dish that can lift them one step above the rest. This is chocolate-covered sweet ricotta macaroni truffles. Everybody asks me what my secret ingredient is, and I always tell them, salt and butter, right? <laughs> like, it's, there's no secret to that. Fire! Fire!
The World Food Championships is presented by Challenge Butter. Things are heating up at the World Food Championships pasta competition. The cooks are close to turning in their second entry for round one, getting them closer to $10,000 and the final table. I say it was nine hours just to drive in around to get the products to insert into this. So we'll see where it ends up. This is as Italian as it gets yeah. right now. Come in, man it's every holiday. Tutti a tavoli a mangiare. We're going to definitely get it a lot earlier this time. That's the plan anyway. Hopefully uh, we can stick to it. Kind of calm in the beginning, but now we're now we're in the combat zone here. Watch your step. Made it! <laughs> you did great. You knocked it out. You got a top ten, no problem. With round one complete, the top ten in pasta are being put in the books. Congratulations. <laughs> Team Mexico has arrived. Stephen Perrin of Team Canada and Suzanne Clark round out the number two and number one positions. I want to win this and I want a chance to go back to the final table. I want to represent Hong Cooks and really show them what we can do. The top 10 in pasta are in their kitchens, getting ready for round two and reviewing how they're going to use the required infused ingredient, truffles, in the two hour time frame for this competition. Who, who could not be happy when this is what you were just given? This is black gold and I'm using it in all kinds of ways. You shave them very, very thin. You don't put do chunks of truffles, so you're not gonna get a lot of texture, but you're gonna get a lot of aromatic flavor from a truffle. Truffles add a certain flavor that brings a dish to the next level, but everyone is using them, so the playing field is even. Stephen Perrin of Team Canada is taking it up one more notch to get an edge on his competition. $70 a pound for this stuff. It's minimum five years old, and it's from a mangalista pig, and they eat acorns. They're fed acorns, so the meat is, uh, is sweet. This is like a prosciutto on steroids. The flavor, the intensity of the flavor is out of this world. This is a this is a pretty yeah, serious group, and uh, you don't want to take uh, you don't want to take Suzanne, the uh, reigning champion, lightly because apparently she really has her pasta down to a science. And I've been practicing two months straight. Whether it was research, whether it was you know going online, libraries, bookstores, or just experimenting in the kitchen, every day I did something for the World Food Championships. The dish that we're gonna put together today is. It's gonna really send the judges over the edge. Their life will never be the same. By the time I finish this sauce, and you taste it, you're gonna think you've died and gone to heaven. It's the first rule of uh, anything I make. Do I like to eat this? Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll make it. If I don't like it, I won't make it. <laughs> I had it in my head that I needed to come up with my very own pasta that has never been done. So that's where I'm going. <laughs> 12 minutes to turn in. All right. We're almost there. Almost there. Ten competitors, three dishes, and one winner. The time has come to see who will take home $10,000 and the title of World Food Pasta Champion. In third place, Ann Jones. Congratulations. In second place, representing Team Canada, Stephen Perrin. And we have a little bit of a shocker. Oh no!
The World Food Pasta Champion is about to be crowned, and with the title comes a spot at the final table and a shot at $100,000. And we have a little bit of a shocker. Oh, no. Defending her title was Suzanne Clark. <laughs> How did you like that shocker call? <laughs> That's a good shock. That's the kind of shock I like. <laughs> the final table. Now I have to prepare for my next, my next thing, and I want to be the first home cook to take home the whole purse. So I'm really excited. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. All right. <laughs> oh yeah. The WFC pasta competition comes to a close, but everyone has an invitation to come back next year to either defend or defeat. It's time for the sandwich division. Everyone can put something between two pieces of bread, but is it worth $100,000? These chefs hope so. We're here to win. We need to walk away with that 100 G's. We're getting our game plan together. Now it's time to execute, baby. Show them what Chicago all about, man. Put our hearts and souls and our passion on the plate. Make it work. You know, we're, we're, we're excited. We've been waiting for this all year. and. and you know, when they say food sport, that's what they mean. This is really exciting, and the energy is just it's really pumped out here. We're going to defend our title and hopefully bring it home. For this first dish of the opening round, the chefs are required to use ribeye steak in their sandwich. We're doing a uh, portobello and bacon ribeye sandwich for this first round for the structured build. We've got the steaks all seasoned, they're wrapped in call fat. The call fat is the, uh, is the uh, lining of a pig's stomach and the fat will render out when it cooks on the grill, but it helps keep everything tender, juicy, and moist. So we pickled these onions in some red wine vinegar and some spices. Now I'm coating them in flour and cornstarch, and we're gonna fry them up so we have actual pickled onion, onion rings. The bread will go dried out, so it's not a rolling the way it's supposed to. Microwave to the rescue. You gotta make work. It's stressful, but we're right where we want to be, so we'll just keep on plugging. Not a chef. I'm, I'm I'm not a cook. I don't do this for a living. I'm just a guy who likes to eat salad. Several layers of flavor here, just tossing it all on there, and then I'm gonna smoke it with the beechwood chips afterwards. So look how creative my husband is. He's good. <laughs> it's supposed to be a secret, but it's getting out. <laughs> The making of a dish is only part of the competition process. You also have to construct it so that it looks appealing. Hey, look, look at it dripping. Oh, it's dripping. That's important. <laughs> All over their hands. <laughs> it looks like, like a this. sandwich you get from New York or something, huh? <laughs> Once the sandwich is done, it's ready for plating. I'm lifting, you're wiping. Yep. Go. Some contestants are simple, some creative. Once it's plated, it's off to the finish line and into the judges' hands. As the gate closes on the first entry of round one, the competitors have already been working on their second entry. Hot horseradish? Yeah. Their signature sandwich. Now it's time to get this second one out the way and hit it with something they ain't never seen before. For the Gouda girls, this is a step beyond where they were last year. Last year we, we failed to get our first sandwich in on time, so we were not able to at least, you know, place. That was tough. And she came back and she is just bawling. And I was she goes, and there, she's just staying there. She goes, what do we do? And I said, we promised two sandwiches. I said, you start grating the cheese, you start chopping the kale, because I got bacon to fry. I, and she goes, she looks at me and she goes, but. What difference does it make? What, I said, the difference is we committed to two sandwiches. So start freaking chopping the damn kale. <laughs> I said, and let's finish. Needs to say on that second sandwich, we were the first freaking dray to get to <laughs> That's all we want to do is offer the best food that we can. Yep. And if we win, that's wonderful. And if we lose, ah. Whatever happens, happens. Want a bite? 
The second entry of round one is nearing completion, and the cooks are hoping for a winner. That is a pecan made of red dough, spun around and baked on. Those are the only ones you will see here. Start thinking about planning and start thinking about moving. You do not want to be disqualified. If only watch cheese would melt faster, that would be great. The hardest part of this sandwich is cutting it. <laughs> I think she's good. She is what she is. Three, two, one. The World Food Championships is presented by Challenge Butter. Sandwich? The top 10 contestants in the WFC Sandwich Division are being chosen for round two. This will give them a shot at the $10,000 and the final table. Martine Fusco! and be into the top 10 to come again is just the biggest joy in the world. We couldn't be any happier. Kelly Fairchild Cochran! <laughs> Number one, baby! Number one! The top 10 in Sandwich are ready for round two. In this last round, they will have two hours to create their best dish that must include the egg. Practicing in my hotel room how to flip an egg. And let me tell you, I don't have it down, so. <laughs> There's a lot of good competition here, so I hope everybody brings their A game and gives me a good run for my money. We are so phenomenally happy that we've made it into the top 10 this year. It proves to me that they really do like my cooking. A little nervous, but um, I practiced all day yesterday and gonna give it my best shot and we'll see what happens. I have something that's never been done before as far as I know. I am so excited. This is a chicken Friday. Okay, I got my crumbs of regular panko, some seasoning, and some Parmesan cheese. Then I'm ready to go. I knew I was reaching really high and it'd be a really hard challenge. I wanted a hard challenge. Are you sure it's not on the bar? I forgot two of my key ingredients. I had to send my husband back. How about the how about the, the dining room table? For my bread, I'm making waffles and uh, I need the flour. <laughs> a bonehead move on my part. Why was I so dumb to take this on? Nobody knows if you're supposed to have a runny yolk or a solid yolk. Check the car. I wonder if I put it in one of those other bags. Hey, get the presentation plate all ready to go. Ah! If somebody can burn themselves doing something, I will. There's flour in the car. I brought it after all. <laughs> it was in the car, which is now 30 minutes away. <laughs> we need to go. You're good, you're good. Seven minutes, okay. Got time. Okay, okay. I'd love to take home 10,000, but if not, got a winning experience happening here today. Crispy pork belly with a runny egg yolk coming off of it. Oh my God, my forgotten ingredient. <laughs> I am not making what I came here prepared to make. The level of competition here is amazing, and I felt like I had to bump it up a bit. I'm stressed out, but I'm good. Couldn't get them crispy enough, and I would have liked more time, but that was my fault, so. I know I did the best I could, and then it's in the judge's hands. my sandwich competitors are you in the house find your way to the stage the top 10 in sandwich have cooked their best three dishes and are going to find out if it was enough to get them a chance at the final table and one hundred thousand dollars in third place lisa keys 
in second place. Kelly Fairchild Cochran, congratulations. We're gonna have a new world sandwich champion. Lori Ruckstiles, <laughs> oh my goodness. Come here, Lori. She's taking it. This is an incredible honor and uh, just a surprise, and I'm so thrilled. With the sandwich champion crown, we are over the halfway mark to the final table. Which category will take home the $100,000 win? Next time on the World Food Championships. This is the World Burger Battle. I don't think it gets any bigger than this. Trying to defend his two-time reigning championship status. Wade Fortin. The only thing better than bacon is more bacon. Ricardo Heredia. Won it two years in a row, so he's going for a three-peat.